Right guys, it's Big P here from Rain Sub Performance. So today we're going to talk about the Rhino 2000 pound, I mean sorry, 3000 pound orange series winch with the uh, electric winch with the steel cable. This has just arrived this morning and uh, I've got my towing dolly there which I'm going to use for pulling around a few small cars. Um, I fitted brand new tyres to it, brand new wheels. They came off eBay as well. Uh, they were quite a good price actually to be fair. I think I paid £50 for the two with the wheels. Now you can see the old tyres there, they were really bad. And uh, they had tread on them but they got a lot of cracking on them so I didn't want to um, risk sort of putting a car on there. And uh, you can see here they're all cracked, putting a car on there and then, then blowing up. So we've got this winch here uh, and we'd want to try and fit it onto this plate here which is designed for the winch. I'm hoping it's going to fit straight on so we'll have a look at the winch, we'll see if it fits on, we'll see what comes with it and then we'll see how it goes. So this is the box, obviously it comes, came this morning, brand new, uh, at about £150 on eBay. Uh, for January I found a, an offer on eBay which gave, uh, I think it was about a 10% discount or something so I did save a little bit on this. So you got a few nice little Sort of carriers there for your keys or whatnot it's probably for the remotes actually um, there's this strap here and there's an instruction manual with everything you need to know which will open once we fitted it and there's a sticker here which you can stick i don't know on your trailer or something to say that you've got a rhino winch which is apparently europe's number one winch so let's see now, um, we we'll start with what's in the box. You've got a pack of nuts and bolts there, which I assume are to fit parts of that winch. Uh, this bit here is where the cable runs through. We've got a bag full of stuff there. Let's see what's in there. So we've got, obviously, the controller box here. And that has... A switch here on a uh, which is like a, a toggle switch which is going to be up and down which is going to allow you to control it from wherever you want and it's got a nice little thing there which you can screw it onto a rod of some sort if you got and uh, right so we've unplugged that now so um, once you take that off obviously you got that wire coming out there which you can plug into you got a long bit of cable there which is going to go to your battery and then you've got this smaller cable here, which I'm assuming will fit to the winch to give power to the winch. Uh, that's your switch, obviously, if you want to control it off that. And then you've got two remote controls, which are completely wireless, in and out. And I'm assuming they've already got batteries in them, but it doesn't seem to be lighting up. So we'll have to check them. No, it doesn't seem to be lighting up. But Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is lighting up and well that one isn't that one has no or maybe it's just one at a time oh yeah that's it that's come on so it's you can put one remote on at a time they've already got batteries in them just press that to switch it off don't want to kill the batteries don't want to switch off maybe it'll switch off itself right so yeah, so that's everything that's in the box, guys. This is the controller, obviously, we'll connect to that. And there's your hook there, which will obviously go on the end of that cable. And now pull out the winch itself and see how that is. Well, it is quite heavy. It's got a nice bit of weight to it. And it's a nice size. And you've got that there to engage it and loosen it off. And we seem to have four holes there, and they are going to fit onto this bracket. And then this bracket should hopefully fit on my dolly somewhere. Let's have a look, see if it lines up with the holes that are on there. Right, now, so if we put it this way, that one hole lines up, but those don't. That way that way, you've got those two, 
Nope, so it doesn't seem like it's going to line up with the holes on here, so we're probably going to have to drill some more holes. Um, so, basically, you get the idea that there will fit onto there, and then these, these holes under here, you get this, these holes under here, it will fit onto that bracket, and the job's a good one. This is where the power leads are going to go on. There's your plus and your minus from the control box. So what we'll try and do is we'll try and fit it on and then I'll show you a little video of it working. But yep, yeah, that's everything you get in the box. And it does seem quite nice, heavy quality. You can see there, right on winch 3000. But um, we'll see how it all works out. I think for the price it is, about £150 on eBay is not a bad price really, to be honest, for what it's going to do. I only needed to pull up small cars anyways, it'd be like Fiestas and Corsas and things like that, so £3,000 should be strong enough, really. But yeah, let's whack it on and we'll see how it goes. Right, so you can see there now, I have to drill another hole at the back here, uh, on the plate, not on this, this had a hole in it. Just drilled a hole through there, and that's on solid now. And it comes with four small black screws which go through here, and these here. Basically, we'll go through the bottom of the plate and screw into this here. So we'll whack them on now and then we'll put it all together. And this control box here, um, like you can see in the photo here, should strap to the top of the motor. It should be good, keep it all nice and tidy. And the brackets for them are in there. So we'll whack all that together and see how it goes and then we'll power it up and see if the thing's any good. Right guys, so you can see it's all been fitted there connected up to a battery there and we've put those two bolts on there and like I said there's allen keys which are fitting to the bottom of the plate here this here has strapped onto there and those two wires on there it comes with these little rubber covers um, I put the cables on first not realizing they were in the box so make sure you put those onto the wires first because they'll just keep it all nice and waterproof common error you just screw it on and then realize after there's another part for it but um, this here basically this part here bolted onto the front of the plate which had the Al, Al on it so make sure that Al's always at the front uh, the corner of that bracket so that these can bolt on uh, I've pulled the rope out fully by disengaging the gear which is here this is what makes it nice and free so you can turn that by hand and then you whack it this side and it's locked in so I've just connected it to a battery here now just to get it going. What I'll probably do is weld a box onto there or something. But if you look at this rope, it's absolutely massive. This, I mean, you can pull a car from anywhere with this. I mean, the remote control's here now. Um, I've had a little play with it and I reckon it probably um, will work from about 10 feet away and then after that, that's it. But you've got in and out on the remote there now, so you just turn that on and you can start winching in. You can see there, just going to keep my foot on it to keep it tight. It's not the fastest, but it does okay. Pulls the rope in nicely. Obviously, we've got no weight on it at the moment, so um, it's hard to get a good indication, but seems to be pulling all good, uh, you can see that rope moving up nicely, yeah, but like I said, it is a really long rope, so, you know, just give that a bit of a pull so that it doesn't uh, all wind up really loose and then we'll be struggling, that's another thing with these, you have to make sure it's uh, got a nice bit of tension on it. Obviously, when you're pulling a bit of weight, it will pull tight automatically. But if it's free, it's just going to wrap around there really loose. And uh, that won't be very good because it won't wrap up properly. So, it really needs to have that weight on it just to uh, pull up nicely. But generally, I mean, it sounds nice. It feels like a decent weight. Seems like a decent winch. We've used more or less everything now. We've got left in there is the straps that go on the end of the remotes. Um, everything else has been used. We've even for now connected that manual um, 
toggle switch, which I'll show you in a minute, which you can sort of strap to a handlebar or something if you didn't want to use the remote and you're always going to be at the front of the trailer or dolly or van or whatever you're going to be using then you could always just um, use the toggle switch instead of the remote the remotes are quite good but I find if you go more than about 10 feet away it, they stop working so so yeah, pointing the end of the rope now try to keep that bit of tension on it There you have it, and that's the handle that goes on it. And we'll just let that wind all the way in. Try and keep that bit of tension on it, so I don't want it wrapping up all loose in there. And then it will just have a load of cable. The overall seems quite a nice, robust system, and the way it's all bolted together is quite nice, quite simple to put together, to be honest. And uh, there's the, here's the toggle switch that you get, which you can disconnect, which I'm just going to disconnect because I don't think I'll be using it, but I'll keep it with it. And that's, uh, it's got in and out. So obviously, it does the same as the remote, but manually. So that's, uh, if you need it, you can use that. And then obviously you can connect this to the battery however you want. I've just used a couple of crocodile clips there. But yeah, generally, um, I think it's quite a nice system for the price of it, for 150 quid. I think it's a lot of winch for your money. So yeah, if you've got any questions, guys, uh, put them in the comments below. And uh, next time I pull a car up, I'll make a little video of it and whack it on just to see how strong it is with a bit of load. But generally, it's quite a nice little system. Fits well. The brackets and things are good. If you've got a little bracket, previously, it's not too hard to adapt to fit it because it has got a lot of holes in it. So you can fit it however you need to. But yeah, if you like what you do guys, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get the video as soon as they come up. That's the Rhino Ridge RE Series £3,000. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.